so i'm back with a new video about the transports section of nictanthes or the woliaceae family the figure here i have shown is the transport section of nictanthes arborists you can clearly see that the outline of transport section appears quadrangular and reveals the following tissues from outside within first one is epidermis epidermis is single layer consists of rectangular cells a thick uninterrupted cuticle is present on the epidermis which protects it many multicellular hairs are also present you can see there which are unbranched next one is the cortex it is differentiated into cholenchyma and parenchyma you can see both cholenchyma and parenchyma in the cortex cholenchyma is several cells deep below the four protruded corners in the quadrangular while other few layers deep at the other places just beneath the epidermis parenchyma is present below cholenchyma many intercellular species are present the region extends up to vascular tissue third one is the cortical bundles cortical bundles means the four vascular bundles which are present in the cortex situated one in each protruded bulge each conical bundle faces its xylem and end towards outer side that is they are conjoint collateral open and exarch conjoint means both xylem and phloem are present in the same bundle collateral means xylem towards the center phloem towards the periphery open means it is it has cambium so it is open type and exarch since the proto xylem is towards the periphery and meta xylem is towards the center these bundles are showing secondary growth at maturity fourth one is the endodermis but in case of this nictanthes it is not well developed so you can write that endodermis is not well developed now the fifth one is the pericycle pericycle it is in the form of sclerenchymatous patches you can see in the figure there that the pericycle is in the form of sclerenchymatous patches and sixth one is the vascular bundle it consists of primary phloem secondary phloem cambium secondary xylem primary xylem Primary phloem is crossed and irregularly present in the form of patches below the pericycle, and the secondary phloem is present in a form of continuous ring and consists of sieve tube, companion cells, phloem parenchyma. Cambium is one to two, one to three cells thick, continuous layer. You can see in the figure that it is one to three cells thick, which is present between the phloem and xylem. it is the position of cambium normally secondary xylem is present just inner to the cambium real ring and primary xylem near the pith now the last one is pith it is thin walled and parenchymatous as usually it is in dicot stem and monocot stem it has parenchymatous tissue potent topic about this is it has an anomalous feature that is presence of cortical bundles which are inversely oriented four in number and never directly connected with the main axial ring of vascular cylinder these are leaf trace bundles so in this way i'm going to end the video i hope you have got some idea about the transverse section of nictanthus If you want me to make uh, any videos related to anatomy you can ask me in the comment box If you like my video then please do comment subscribe and like my channel And thanks for watching